Hello Libra, I hope you're all doing well. Thank you for all your likes, shares and subscribes and welcome to the channel. I hope you've had a lovely Christmas and this is your January reading for 2022. We have not for you. Not for you. And this is a six, so it's moving forward. Six is moving towards success for me. Here, that's what I'm hearing. There's something not for you. There's something better out there for you. Let's see what this is about. Oops, this one. Talent. Now you've got a talent and it's time to use it. So if you've got a skill, you might want to develop it. If you've got a talent, you might want to use it. Shine. It's your time to shine here. This one definitely wants to come out. And transformation. So transformation and change is coming. You're going to use your talent and you're going to be very, very successful. So if you've got a skill, uh, you might want to develop it. You could be a singer, you could be a dancer, you could be somebody who's got a, an entrepreneur type energy of a business that you want to, you could be a painter, an actor, anybody. Any skill you've got, you could read tarot, anything. It's time to bring transformation into your life. So what you're doing at the moment might, might not be suiting you, Libra. Let's have a look. And you might be drawn towards something else that's more creative. You don't have to be arty. You just have to have a creative uh, idea that you want to develop here. Now, I haven't been doing as many readings because I haven't had the time and I haven't been 100% well for a long time now. I'm getting better now. Um, I wanted to do, I did all the readings because I wanted to get a basis for the channel and I think I've achieved that. So I thank everybody for all your likes, shares and subscribes and your viewing. Uh, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to do monthlies, I'm going to do bi-monthlies and if I have time to put up a message i will put up a collective message on certain days when i can manage it but thank you everybody for watching up till now it's been wonderful we've got the knight of cups there we go the magician it's about manifestation using your talents and creating goals for yourself the two of cups beautiful energy here there's your success i'm talking about when i said that uh, the six of wands here the overall central energy is the king of cups the Ten of Cups, beautiful. This is all. This is all in the line of talent. The Ten of Pentacles, beautiful. That's what's transforming. All this abundance coming from it. The Queen of Cups. And the beautiful King of Pentacles. There's a lot of mature energies on the table here. Now, what we've got here is we've got something that you're doing that might not be for you, and it's about going towards your happiness here. Now, this is about manifesting new goals. And what Spirit's saying is everything is correct. The energies are right in the universe for you to be setting new goals for yourself. And it's using your skills. I'm saying talents. It's talents and skills. So any skill set you have, it's time to use it to manifest goals. Now, it's about going towards your happiness here. You're going to come into a more happy place. The King of Cups is a very happy, emotional, well-balanced type of energy. And this is overall energy for the reading. So it's about going towards your happiness, using your skills you've got here, manifesting your goals in that sense, and going towards happier times. There will be movement will come forward. So like I say, if there's something you're doing at the moment that's not for you, it could be that you want to develop a talent here, it could be that you want to learn a new talent, a new skill. Uh, you want to become talented at something. It could be anything. These goals could be anything for a million people. Different for everybody. But it's about whatever you want to manifest now is definitely the way forward for you. Because when you manifest these goals and go towards your happiness, you're going to come into alignment with yourself. And it's all about your happiness here. These are all cups. You're coming into alignment with yourself here. You're emotionally stable. You're enjoying life. You're at one with yourself. There's transformation will come from this. So make sure if you're working, you're in a job that inspires you, uh, or if you've got a skill, you develop it. <coughs> Things are going to transform for you. It's time for new goals. Definitely time for new goals. Absolutely. Now, what we've got here as well is we've got the Queen of Cups and she's somebody who's very intuitive. So listen to your intuition here. You'll know what this is. She's also somebody who's very loving and caring that could be coming into your life. We've got a lot of cups in this table. This is about somebody who could be coming in here. That's, this could be a, a, a new romantic partner. It could be a new friendship as well. 
It could be a good supportive network of some sort as well. So if you're going to college, for example, you might need great friends. You might have a great tutor and uh, all this type of thing. But if this is a relationship, this is somebody who's very loving and caring. Um, it's also somebody here, Cups or Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio energy. This is somebody here who doesn't wear their heart on their sleeve. They're emotionally mature. So they know exactly what makes them happy. Um, they feel things, but they don't necessarily uh, express their emotions verbally. But they definitely feel them. But if this is a romantic partner coming in, this is somebody who's on the same wavelength as you. It's somebody who gets you. They're like a mirror image of you. You can see that here. And they see life through the same eyes. So what's happening here is you are meeting somebody who's going to bring in a well-balanced relationship. There's equal give and take in it. So if it's a relationship that you're manifesting and it's single life that's not for you, then there is an opportunity here. If you manifest a relationship, uh, th this is possible. They, you know, um, your goals will come to fruition. This is what will come in. Definitely, there's a chance for that as well. Um, but you might meet somebody through being talented. It could be using your talents and your skills. You might meet a person there. You know, if you're going to college or you're taking up a new opportunity of some sort, you might meet that person through your talents or your skills that you have. But whatever you're investing in here, you're going to be very successful with. Um, definitely very successful with. There's challenges in the past, been there, you've been through battle, but this is about moving forward now towards success. And you're going to be recognised for the success that you create. People are going to recognise you and say, look how well you've done. Because there's people applauding you. So, if, you know, you're going to, if you could, end, you could graduate, you could, you know, come out with your qualification. It could be anything like that as well, if you're investing. But public recognition, most definitely. And, and if it's a relationship, somebody is seeing you as being a very loving, caring and a very compatible partner. So there could be success in that sense as well. But whatever goals you're manifesting here, Libra, you're going to come out on top with because there's a lot of blessings at the end of the rainbow. We have two tens here and tens are transformation. They're endings and the two tens are the best tens in the pack. So you can see this skill that you have or this new idea you take up or this new goal you're setting here is going to transform. It's like coming from the cocoon and developing into this beautiful, beautiful butterfly. And what's happening here is there's blessings at the end of the rainbow after your challenging times here. So if you're putting any hard work in to something, you're going, it's going to pay off. Uh, the hard work you're putting in, uh, learning something or developing something here, uh, the journey towards your goals, you're going to get your blessings at the end of the rainbow. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. <clears throat> and this is also financial abundance coming in. So it could be windfalls, lottery wins, inheritances. It could be um, compensations coming through. Any increase in finances of any kind. It could be wage rises. You know, if you learn a new skill, use your talents. It could bring money in. All this type of thing. Uh, anything you're investing in is going to be financially rewarding for you. Now, it doesn't just necessarily mean finance with the Ten of Pentacles. It's going to bring stability in most definitely uh, financially, but it's also going to bring in stable uh, in support networks because this can be people. This can be uh, new friendships like you make if you're in, like going to a new world, a new job. Um, like I say, you could meet this person on a college course. Uh, new friends, abundant type support energy is all around you here and that's going to help you with your goals as well. So there's a transformation in that sense as well for you. And what's going to happen is you're going to create beautiful stability. Now, the King of Pentacles is somebody who's sitting back here and is enjoying the fruits of his labour. So like I say, I, I can't be any clearer here. Whatever you're investing in Libra is going to pay off. You're going to get security from it. Your relationships are going to hold. You're going to sit back and create an empire that you're going to enjoy a lot of enjoyment. He's financially secure. He's enjoying his relationships. He's enjoying his job. Now, if it's an investment or a, that you're, you know, um, beg your pardon, if you're investing in some sort of job here, uh, there could be promotion, wage rises, using your skills in that sense as well, um, could create beautiful financial security. It could also become a boss type energy through um, promotions, that type of thing as well. So beautiful things ahead here, definitely for Libra. And what a beautiful reading to start off 2022. We have ground, ground. It's time to ground and center your energy and be truly present in your life. Absolutely, stay focused. Stay focused on your goals, be in the present. That's the best way. See your blessings in the present and it will help you go towards your goals.
ask, ask. It's okay to ask for help. It's not a sign of weakness. No, we need tutors. We need people with knowledge to support us. Support networks. Beautiful, beautiful reading. I hope this helps. Please like, share and subscribe and happy new year to you all. Bye-bye now.